This is what dad would have wanted. Moving on, all while keeping their father's business and his memory alive. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Kevin Bouton. James Minshaw Sr. was shot and killed in his jewelry store in Omaha in September. His children say they'll never forget what happened, but another arrest in the case this week has brought them some solace. Reporter Kim Foley spoke with the family and joins us now from the News Center with an update. Kim. Kevin, it's been a long two months for the Minshaws. It's taken a family effort to keep Jim's store going. New customers are helping business and familiar ones are keeping Jim's memory alive. It's a simple project. It's been overwhelming. We have a folder full of yellow post-it notes with notes. That is going a long way. People have come in and wrote stuff about dad. They come in and they don't have anything to have repaired. They just want to come in and share stories about their time talking with dad. It's just one of the many things keeping Jim present in the business he loved so much. Customers come in and they say the one thing they'll always remember is his smile. Pictures of him are everywhere, something his daughter Tracy Bland finds comforting. It makes me feel better. I smile when I look up and see him. I remember the days that what was going on when we took the pictures, so it just takes you back to, to the good times. On September 17th, police say 18-year-old Milton Dorch Jr. shot and killed Minshaw during a botched robbery at JR's Jewelry and Gifts. Just this week, police announced they arrested an accomplice, 20-year-old Chris Hicks. Prosecutors say Hicks drove Dorch to JR's, waited in the parking lot, and then drove away after Minshaw was shot. Bland is thankful the suspects are behind bars. A lot of people said, well, after they got the shooter, they were probably going to not put much time into it. But to know that they're still working on it and they're still looking for everybody involved. It's taken a family and a community to keep Jim's vision going, but it's something they are determined to do together. Thank you for all of the support. Thanks for not forgetting who dad was. Chris Hicks, the second suspect arrested this week, is being held on $100,000 bond on a criminal conspiracy charge. He will be back in court in two weeks. In the News Center, Kim Foley, KMTV Action 3 News.